Oh, Larry. I've been thinking about this scene. How about if I start pacing slowly and then build to show I'm distracted? No. Okay. Well, what if I remove my jacket to show that I'm worried? No. Well, what if I started twirling my hair to show that I'm stressed? No. Okay, well, what should I do? You're going to do exactly what I tell you to do. Isn't collaboration wonderful? We'll talk about that on today's Two Real Guys. Hi, I'm Norman Holland. And I'm Larry Jordan. In today's show, we want to talk about collaboration. And collaboration is something that's taken me years to learn because collaboration is not the same thing as leadership. They're two totally different things. And Norman really helped me to understand this. So what's the definition of collaboration? Well, I think the first thing to realize is that uh, in order to best collaborate, you need other people's opinions. So, but isn't that giving up leadership? If you've got, I mean, the worst thing I could possibly imagine is having a film created by committee. No, you will absolutely not create a film by committee. But we'll, what you need to do is to be open to other people's ideas. But if I'm the leader, if I'm the director, I'm supposed to have all the answers. I'm supposed to know <laughs> oh, no. where we're going. No, actually, no one has all the answers. But it's really good to have the ballpark, to know where you want to head, to know your story to know where you want to end up at the end of the film. This is a really important lesson that, that I wish I knew 30 years ago. Mm. And that is that I can lead a production, I can direct a production, but I don't have to know all the answers. Mm -hmm. In fact, if I do my job right, I say, this is the direction we're going. And, and we head in that direction, but then I'm listening to members of the crew and I'm listening to the cast, I'm listening to everybody mm -hmm. to say, does anybody have a better idea on how to get to where we're going? So the direction is set, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that I have to be the only one that decides everything or hears only one voice. Right, absolutely. In fact, I'm going to assume that one of the reasons why you hired a particular DP or hired a particular editor is because you like what they do. That's why you brought a particular actor or actress on, because you like what they bring to the process. So it would be stupid to tell them precisely what to do. Add three frames here, walk slower, step at exactly that place. All of those kinds of things really and truly restrict collaboration. In other words, everything I told Lisa at the beginning of the show, where she was coming up with some really very, very good ideas, mm -hmm. and I just said, nah, because I was pretending that I didn't want to have mm -hmm. any other challenge to my leadership. Well, actually, let's take a look at how we ended up writing that piece for the opening today. That would be today. useful, yes. yes. Because the way in which that piece about lack of collaboration came to the show is all about our collaboration. Right. And first, what we started is we said, let's come up with an illustration of a lack of collaboration. Mm -hmm. So what we had Lisa doing is a bunch of angry lines where yeah. there was a lot of hostility. Mm -hmm. And that actually was just about the anger. So I remember saying to you at that point, and I'm not really comfortable with that idea uh, because it's just about the anger. Why can't we do something where she wants something from you? Uh, but you don't want that from her. Why? Because our story at that point was, this is bad collaboration. Because we knew that the overall episode that we're doing today was about collaboration. We needed to end up here at this point, two thirds of the way through the episode. So we needed to start off at a place with a particular scene that would show lack of collaboration. And then we tried version two, and version two is where everything was confused. We didn't know where anything was mm -hmm. going to go. It was sort of fly, flying in all directions. Mm -hmm. And we realized that wasn't very good. And then you came That up wasn't with, a good teachable point. And, and then you came up with the idea of where we ended up, which is having Lisa walk in and provide really, really good suggestions, only to have each one of them get shot down, mm -hmm. because it is the contrast of her volunteering mm -hmm. and my shooting her down that was a classic example of complete lack of collaboration. We knew that we wanted to model bad collaboration so we could then discuss good collaboration. 
So what we finally did after about five or six different drafts is At we came least five or six. <laughs> is that we came to this idea of showing how collaboration is the process of actively listening to the good ideas of mm -hmm. somebody else. Mm -hmm. Because some of those ideas that Lisa had were perfectly wonderful. Mm -hmm. But I was but you weren't open to them. Not at all, which meant I was not collaborating. That's right. That's right. And in fact, one of the things that helped us to get to this place in the opening scene was that we knew that the entire show the log line, as we call it, of the show was about how to collaborate. So in the first part of the show, we wanted to show how not to collaborate so we could get to this place. And this, I think, points also to the fact of leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership says we're going in this direction, which I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And then collaboration means to actively listen to other people, clearly communicate where you want to go, clearly provide direction, and then actively listen to other people as they provide ideas mm -hmm. and say, that's a good idea because it fits in with our direction. But that may not be as good an idea, but let's see if we can't develop it so it does fit mm -hmm. in our direction. And that's a really classic example for me of how one person has an idea, another person has a different idea, and in pooling the ideas together, you get a third idea that's better than either of the two would have been to begin with which is what makes collaboration so exciting. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with a tip right after this. The hardest lesson to learn is that you are not diminished by someone else having a good idea. The director does set the overall direction, but they don't have to have all the answers. The key to collaboration is clear communication and actively listening to the ideas of others. So collaboration seems a little difficult. Are there some things that can help us? It's all about communication. And if you think about it, there's two things that you can do that actively encourage collaboration. One is a production meeting, and the second is a rehearsal. Production meeting with everybody associated with the production, and rehearsals with cast and crew. Mm -hmm. The more everybody knows what's going on, the more they can contribute, the more the ideas are relevant, and the greater the collaboration. Good ideas. My name is Larry Jordan. And I'm Norman Holland. And you are watching The Two Real Guys. See you next time. <laughs>